Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will explain the dental management of patient with history of myocardial infarction. The management of an oral surgical problem in a patient who has had an MI begins with a consultation with the patient's physician. In general, it is recommended that elective major surgical procedures be deferred until at least six months after an infarction. This delay is based on statistical evidence that the risk of reinfarction is low after six months if the patient is properly supervised medically. However, the six months delay becomes unnecessary due to the recent thrombolytic based treatment strategies and improved MI care. Straightforward, uh, the routine oral surgical procedures uh, may be performed less than six months after an MI if the procedure is unlikely to provoke significant anxiety and the patient had an uneventful recovery from the MI. In addition, other dental procedures may proceed if cleared by the patient's physician via a medical consultation. Patients with a history of MI should be carefully questioned concerning their cardiovascular health. An attempt should be made to find out the evidence of undiagnosed complications such as dysrhythmias or congestive heart failure. If more than six months have passed or physician clearance is obtained, the management of the patient who has had an MI is similar to care of the patient with angina. Patients who have had an MI typically take aspirin or another antiplatelet or anticoagulant to decrease coronary thrombogenesis. The details of this should be sought because it can affect surgical decision making. An anxiety reduction program should be used as we discussed in our previous video about angina. Prophylactic. Nitroglycerin should be administered only if directed by the patient's primary care physician, but nitroglycerin should be readily available. Supplemental oxygen can be considered, but is usually unnecessary. Remember that the effective painless local anesthesia is essential. Local anesthetics containing epinephrine are safe to use if given in proper amounts using an aspiration technique. An aspirating syringe should be used since adrenaline in the anesthetic may get into the blood and may theoretically raise the blood pressure and precipitate arrhythmias. Blood pressure tends to rise during oral surgery under local anesthesia and adrenaline theoretically can contribute, but this is usually of little practical importance. The prolonged and effective local anesthesia gives better result as compared to plain anesthesia. Because a pain leads to more anxiety and stress that produce endogenous epinephrine that is more as compared to uh, present in the local anesthetic. Local anesthetic with epinephrine provides prolonged and effective anesthesia, therefore indirectly reduces endogenous epinephrine. However, care should be taken to avoid excessive epinephrine administration. It should not exceed the total adult dose of 0.04 mg in any 30 minute period. The use of nitrous oxide or other conscious sedation methods for anxiety control in patients with ischemic heart disease should be considered. Vital signs should be monitored throughout the perioperative period. If dental management of patient with history of myocardial infarction is beyond your expertise and skill, then consider referral to an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Now let's discuss few important points about dental management of patients with a coronary artery bypass grafting, uh, usually pronounced as a cabbage. In general, with respect to major oral surgical care, patients who have had coronary artery bypass grafting uh, are treated in a manner similar to patients who have had an MI. 
before major elective surgery is performed, three months are allowed to pass. If major surgery is necessary earlier than three months after the cabbage, the patient's physician should be consulted. Patients who have had cabbage usually have a history of angina, MI or both and therefore should be managed as previously described. Routine office surgical procedure may be safely performed in patients less than six months after cabbage surgery if their recovery has been uncomplicated and anxiety is kept to a minimum. This is the summary of dental management of patient with a history of myocardial infarction mentioned in your textbook. Thank you. Have a nice time.